All right then. Okay. Do well, you guys remember here. the promise? Well, now that you mention it, I, I kind of do. I remember him telling us the sad story and us just kind of sobbing. It was just like, of course we'll help you. <laughs> I think Kiara might remember it, but Serena's uh, colander, which is a steel colander, it's a steel trap with a bunch of holes in it, did not capture it and keep it. It sure retained it for the time before it ran out of all those many, 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 many holes. So basically, so. Um, he came to Kiara and Ellie in the middle of the night, and they were doing watch, mm -hmm. so that's why he talked mm -hmm. to them. Yep. Yeah. And um, he bad. told them that uh, basically... I, I kept secrets from Tarina, and that caused her to, to die, basically. And mm -hmm. so I'm going to be forthright now, because it hasn't... It basically hasn't been good. And um, I'll say, like, that's a Fey thing. Like, they don't want to be forthright. It's just in their nature to, like, be secretive and to, like, kind of dance around the subject. So, like, that's why it was, like, hard for him to talk about it. Um, mm -hmm. And it's then all based he, on context clues, and if you can't read between the lines, then you're the one who gets lost. It's not their fault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you then um, he he basically asked you guys to help him bring his mother out of jail because you're like, well, why does you work for Sabra if she's like not that great? And um, he then says, well, she has my mother in prison. Like I, and that's how she keeps me as. Uh, her servant and so uh, like if i were to escape because he like his mom we'll say that you guys can tell them this story but basically his mom fell in love with a human and then they left the fey wilds and went to the southern continent to have a family basically and then they had like a good like 10 years where they just were having a blast as a family and then Sabra came back and said you can't leave me how dare and so she um dad is dad vanishes and um assumed to be dead mom is incarcerated and Arturo is put to work and wow. he says I want to be out of this situation and like part of the reason I brought Tarina in was because like I can relate to her, her like, her plight, you know, like, she just wants to be with her family. He just wants to be with his family. Um, and so then he just asks you guys, like, will you help me, like, free my mom? I don't have anyone else to turn to, really. And you guys were like, yes, we'll help you. And then as a DM, I was like, this can wait. <laughs> <laughs> And, and now like, it's yeah, here. Sure, no problem. So they're like, uh huh. Yeah, sure, bro. No problem. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how I saw it. Yeah, it's pretty much it's it. It's like, of course, of, of course, you handsome treat. Yes, <laughs> it's a treat. So uh, now you guys are left in Arturo's house to rest. Um, you guys want to RP or mm -hmm. anything? A little bit of RP. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah. so Kathy is going to look at Ellie and Kiara and be like, I'm sorry, what promise was happening here? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> look, he was like really hot and he was in trouble and. But what was the promise you made? <laughs> Now you see, I can see where Ellie, what did I tell you about just doing whatever a hot boy says? Kiara, like, crosses her <laughs> arms, thinks about it. You know, I could see where he could interpret that as a promise. Yeah. These people I mean... are quite li literal, aren't they? <laughs> I look towards Luna and I'm like, you said, don't. <laughs> exactly. Kiara, like, takes out a little, uh, sort of just like, uh, promise, promise, promise. Uh, let's see. And she like sort of goes into her little side pouch. She's just like, uh, second. This is where I keep my promises. Huh? <laughs> so she keeps all of her notes of the top side world. It's like the most battered little book you've seen. And it's like quite small, but she's like obviously scrawlings everywhere. She's like, oh, oh I see. Hmm. Yeah, so it was about his mom again, and uh, 
Oh, okay. So, oh, that's a bit you don't heard about his mother and about his getting her out. Apparently, uh, we kind of signed ourselves up for that one. But you can okay. ask. But you can ask to fill a boon with the queen if you like to. But uh, as far as he's concerned, it seems that Ellie and I are uh, slated to stick to this plan. <laughs> well, this plan. <laughs> considering I mean, the... you can break a fair promise if you want to tempt it. Well, let's okay, see what man. happens. <laughs> I mean, it just. All right, well, Chaonti <laughs> is just going to kind of, like, kind of do like a quiet little look at you guys and be like, well, the promise well, is important, I'd say. And it sounds like, well, for all things considered, it's not a good thing to keep holding people hostage. Like, how often does this happen? Yeah. How often? It kind of it's sounds like much. a lot, given that Karina needed to kidnap people. Yeah. And he's like precisely. your friend, right? So it's like you're doing your friend a favor. I mean, you're yeah. stuck. My one concern just... is time. Yes. I don't know a couple how time days. is happening. And in the end, we'd still have to, if we go to Queen Sabra or if we go and try to do uh, an excursion, uh, perhaps it would still take a couple days just to get over there to do either of those tasks. Yeah. I mean, we, we have a couple tools on our belt. I mean, Nuwali is really stealthy and has practically lived in the Feywild, like, for, I turn towards Nuwali, like, a really long time, right? I mean, yeah, it's been a long time. I don't know if it's been exactly ten years, but it sure felt like it. <laughs> yeah, She's it's like, like I am sure that time passes differently here, though. I think it's slower. Do you like it here, Noali, or would you like to help the pretty man do, do something to help his family? And she just looks at her brother and says, I just want to be with my family. And then she's like, I mean, we got... We got, um... Theron. Too. So we gotta get him away from Dad. And then, I don't know, maybe we can go somewhere and Airvan says, oh yeah, we need to we need to get Lucius Lucian too. Oh, she's like, that kid? She's like, yeah, he, uh, after you left, he came, he got really close to all of us. She said, oh, okay, yeah, we can, we can get him too. And then, I don't know, maybe we can find Mom. Maybe we, we can find Alana's family and his, uh, and then she, she kind of like twirls her knives and says because I was sent to I was she was sent to her her mom's side of the family but Adlana actually just came and took her and then uh, gave her like training so that's why she's a rogue mm -hmm. and then um, it altered when she and then she decided that she was gonna come back and try to rescue her family but she got lost in the woods and wound up in the Feywilds <laughs> That's what mm, happened. Yeah. That's when what happened. does. Yeah. Ellie kind of like crosses her arms. She brings out her little bubble pipe and it's like, well, it it sounds like we only have two options to get out of the Feywild. It's either we kidnap or, well, we try to rescue Arturo's mom. Liberation. And with, with their powers combined, they can get us out. Or we ask so uh, Sombra. Sobra. Sabra. 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 Or we ask Sabra, but I'm I'm afraid if we ask Sabra, we'll be oh, indebted to yeah, we'll be indebted to her. It'll cause more problems. I share yeah. that fear as well. I think I mean, that the best thing to do is to uh, continue on with the promise that was made, because I think in the end that is the best choice. Uh, yeah. The promise that was made. We might be able to find another circle. But it's really hard. I mean, she's like, I've been searching for like, I mean, almost a decade. I've been searching almost a decade, a long time. I haven't found one. So, I mean, supposedly they're supposed to be around, but they move or something. I don't know. Everything's do, crazy in the Feywild. Do ovals work? She's like, nope. It's gotta be a circle. It's gotta be a circle. It's gotta be a circle. Perfect keep circle. A okay. Also leads us to another uh, type of thing. Um, we last session my brain doesn't record anything anymore um <laughs> it's maximum full all right nothing um 
we talked with Kayanthi about how she popped in here and who's after her, right? So we know that's her brother. So mm-hmm. Threnian and uh, yeah. Samira are still like somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So she, so she says she's like, oh, ah, and uh, another thing to keep mention of. Um, you're still being hunted potentially, unless they're looking for a way out, and that's more complicated than looking for you. <laughs> Harder to find a way out of a perpetual trap box than it is to find someone else who's trapped in said trap box. So, but I have the impression they're not going to get any closer to the kingdom of the, the queen's place. Well, it's hard to really know what Thranian will decide. All I know is that the most obvious path seems to be towards the castle either way, and I still think that And there's still uh, three to... of them? And about mm-hmm. six of us? Seven. Well, hopefully we have some members there. I know that Thradian is still very clever. Um, but, like I said, I I think we should follow through with the promise. And that would be our best way out. And we'll manage as best we can. Alright. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, and... Now, who will sleep where? I don't mind the floor. Uh, I don't mind the floor in. either. <laughs> Ervin just drains into a cat and then goes and like sits on the corner of the bed. I'll stay on the couch. <clears throat> and then Noalia is just like, I mean, I've slept in a lot of trees, but that bed sure looks nice. You know what? Have at it. Go for it. So she goes and pop. She just crawls in the bed. She will, uh, Kiara will take one of the pillows, though, off the bed and be like, I'll, I'll be taking that. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, if there's enough, if there's more room on the bed, Kathy wants the bed, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, room on, there's room on the bed, yeah. Okay, <laughs> Kathy will also take the bed if no one else will. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, so y'all. Mm-hmm. No fighting there. Yep. You get a... And to- do you want to say I something? Want to, I yeah. want to ask Tiffany, the DM, when do we level up again? It would be very nice to level up again. I know when you're going to level up again. Okay, she knows. It That's will about be it. at um, it'll be at the end of this arc. Okay, got it. Okay. Hmm. We're going to okay. murder the queen. <laughs> Oh, maybe we shouldn't be doing that, however. Well, it does sound a little <laughs> ambitious, but, you know, can't rule it out. <laughs> ambitious. Can't rule it out. But ambitious. <laughs> that was my quote. Not Ellie. But Ellie would also <laughs> okay, say that. We, 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 you know, I didn't think the answer would be regicide, but yeah, you can go for it. Um, so you guys get your full rest. Today's choice is mm-hmm. violence. Mm-hmm. I guess. Keeping, keeping piles of violence. Alright, full rest, and then you guys wake up in the morning, um, it's about the afternoon now, and, uh, you guys, by the time you're all fully rested, and, uh, you guys eat some of your rations, and, um, Unless you want to do anything else, you couldn't. Does start. anyone want any of my mom's cookies? D- yeah. Yes. What do they do? Do they have like an effect, or is it just delicious? They're just delicious. They just have different flavors. Um, they, it might be delicious. It might have weed, depending on what the DM says. Party. <laughs> <laughs> we will add that as an eleventh option. <laughs> <laughs> the what's the flavor? Party. Party flavor. Okay. It depends on what your weight you rolls, so. Okay. <laughs> oh, are we rolling something for cookies? Rolling for it's cookies? Roll a d12. Oh, a d12. Okay. Oh, d12. Yeah. Come here. Aha! I got a one. Cool. Alright, what's number one? Number Give one me. is cinnamon. Alright, you got a snickerdoodle. It's delicious. Ah. I got a four. You got you... apple. Ooh. Okay. I got a two. Lavender. Ooh, lovely. Ooh. Then, uh, Erevan got nine. 
Martha is Ginger. Okay, he's like, huh, Ginger. That's pretty good. Noelia got six. Weed. <laughs> oh, hot chili pepper. That's what I got, too. Yeah, <laughs> hot chili pepper. So she bites into it, she's like, yeah, what? <laughs> and then she just, like, grabs Aravan's uh, like water skin, uh, water, water skin, skin and just yeah. jumps it. And he's just like, sis, and she's like, whatever, you can make water. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but <laughs> it's rude. Come on, <laughs> oh, the family's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. That was an interesting cookie. And then she looks at it, I like eats it, it again, <laughs> <laughs> and repeat. <laughs> And repeat, yeah, then she just repeats, and at the end, like, this water skin is empty, and she's like, fuck, worth it. <laughs> and, um, yeah, now you guys are free oh. to go. I'm gonna head out. How unlimited is the cookie deposit? Um, we'll Full say there's, um, we'll say that she made two dozen. Ah, yes. Just a, a cookie jar of holding. <laughs> That's delicious. <laughs> How many have been eaten? Six? Six right now, yeah. Six. Okay. We got 18 left then. Unless our baker's dead a dozen. Nope, it, it just a dozen. Normal dozen. Okay. <laughs> baker's dozens became 13 because. The bakers were afraid of being um, tax violators, basically. So That's more, a cool story there. More, more mm. facts and fun. You're a dungeon damsel. Yeah. All right. Then. <clears throat> so you um, you close Arturo's house door, and something interesting you notice is that there's no hinges or like m like metal hinges on his door. Everything is uh, put together by like. Um, wood by wood mm -hmm. <laughs> or tweed or yeah and even the the like latch of the door is really just like a leather a piece of leather <clears throat> so um you walk the path to the Feywild which is more which is little more than and okay you walk the path to the Feywild and by path I mean it's like an animal trail it's just really amid the Towering grasses and winding vines of various plants. Flowers bloom in curtains and moss carpets the floors in a green blanket. Toadstools house handsome toads as they sit proudly and watch you go by. In the distance you can see these uh, like white deer creatures that bound across the wood in this dazzling array of grace and glittering fur. You come across damselflies as they flutter and leave this trail of uh, like sparkling dust behind them, and all around you there are kind of just these like general just like motes of floating bits of just like raw magic. Nice. <laughs> oh, I did have one question. Yes. How was my my trance? Anything different? Uh. Okay, that's interesting. Um, it's a long night. A lot happened. All new me. <laughs> All new friend. New friends. New dreams. You... Demon friend. Who this? So like you, when you're you complete your four hours of trance, and then during the night you're just looking out the window and um, the um, decide how many moons there would be here. We're saying that there's just a single moon out, but it's uh, like a like an orange. And, um, you can almost, it's like the, the shadows call to you almost. Like, you're in, like, intellectually, you know, that's dangerous, but on some level, you're compelled to go to them. Huh. <laughs> um, and, um, you can, you, you feel your little friend saying uh like just uh stirring or something stirring yeah basically stirring 
like something about the the shadow fell seems to kind of excite it. Oh. All right then. <laughs> Makes a small note of that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, every so often, you swear you can see the like a little bit of shadow, like just kind of like flicker. Mm. And then it's, it's always like at the corner of your peripheral, though. So you look over you there, look and your eyes there. focus, and you're it's like normal. Huh. Meanwhile, in daytime land, definitely not as daytime. daytime. Yeah. So as you're walking, Kayanthi, you hear a woof! Dog. Dog and I look for the I look for the woof. Dog. Yes. So oddly domestic woof amongst the wild buzzing. And um so make a make a perception check. I am perceiving woof. Yes. I have Don't. perceived woof, Roll and woof. I got a, a number. Uh, I got 22. I have perceived woof. Yes, yeah, so. You have successfully perceived woof. woof. Stop. Um, Nuali and Erevan have been talking a lot. You can send, you know, there's probably got a lot to catch up on. But you stop the team. Everyone's like, what's going on? And you say, dog. And you point <laughs> to, um, oh, like, dog? um, Oh, sorry, I skipped a part. Hang on. Um, you pass through a brook mm-hmm. and pause. <laughs> uh, you pause because you can hear it babbling. And um, you pass through this dense thicket to come to an even denser part of the wood. And then here the boughs are very thick. Like the canopy is... Um, the canopy darkens. And you just have these little like streams of light that kind of dapple through. And you look in the... You, you step on the ground, and for the first time you hear something kind of crunch, and you look down and see dead leaves, and we're, which is a little odd because it's just like this. This place is so lush and full of life, and um, mushrooms dot the ground, and um, <clears throat> there's kind of like this just lots of ivy like plant around you, and this big kind of uh, like hill thing, essentially. Then you hear the woof. Then you hear the woof, woof you point. And you see a purple furred animal poke its head out. <gasps> purple dog. Then um, you blink and poof, there's this poof. Uh, and instantly there's this purple medium sized dog. It's about like 65 pounds, pops into the middle of the group. It has uh, oh, patching know. of pinks and white to it, and it. it it, it lowers itself into like the play position and wags its tail and then whoop! Oh, hello! That All the pets. jumps past quick. Hello! And he, you see it like, just kind of like poof around and it like pops to the other side and pops up to the other side, just sniffing everyone and going and like um, barking happily. And um, it, Luna, you, you're it, like, dogs know you're a dog person, so. He it instantly gravitates to you and uh, scritch it behind its ears. All the scooches. Yeah. Scooches. Spur is very soft. It um, it looks like a Australian kelpie. And um, there's this little, just like basically a rope with a, a tag on it. And it says Piper. Huh. Aw. Piper. Hi, Piper. <laughs> Kayanthi looks at the dog with not distaste, but like unease. Because it's just like last time an animal wandered into my life, it was evil. (laughs) And it was spying on us. So I'm just like, um, hello, who is that? Why is it here? You you see it, it it poofs away for a second and then it comes back and it has a ball in its mouth and it drops it. Uh, thank you. I take that. Michael <laughs> knows what it, it is. It, Ellie it. doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it its eyes light up when you pick that ball up, and it it just gets ready. I didn't pick it up. Who picked up the ball? I didn't do it. Yeah, right? was a Luna. Okay, Kira, thank you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I should change it first. Okay. So, uh, Kira, she's like, "All right," and I throw the ball. <laughs> 
So uh, make a strength check to throw it. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! That is a nineteen plus seven. So uh, you hurl that thing. I'm, not kidding. <laughs> I'm so stoked on having. I'm like seeing this dog that does magical things and is like, go get it. So you see it turn and just um, you watch it kind of like poof in and out of space and run and then poof in and out of space and run and it wait it. Kiara, I don't see it going down at all. The ball is just going. Are you sure you threw it? Or is it behind your back? No, I threw that thing. <laughs> oh. oh, dear. That's okay. It can blink. It doesn't run. <laughs> <laughs> then, with this athletic jump, it, it catches it in its mouth and um, lands. Yeah, <laughs> and then it turns back. And you see it just start like running back there, you guys, at full speed. It goes really fast. I mean, even just <laughs> as a dog that's running, it runs really fast. And you see it poof over and cover just the distance between you. And it kind of like scoots to a stop and it drops the ball again. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good boy. I, I'm or, gonna. I want to throw it. No. All right. You next. I just sort of toss it to you. Kayanthe right. is going to look at. Um... Erevan and Nawalia, or no, Nawalia especially, and she's gonna be like, mm-hmm. have you met this dog before in your travels? She's like, um, let's see if she has. Throw the ball. Meanwhile, everyone's I playing with the dog. We're playing she's with like, the dog. No, but it is actually a pretty common domestic animal here. I see. All right. We could see dogs just sort of entertaining the fae, and the fae be like, I want to take you home with me, baby! <laughs> Luna, you wanna? You can do a dex or a strength, whatever you want. Throw it oh, if you want. Dex is dex is dirty twenty. Okay. Yep. Nice. She um, you throw it, and she uh, goes and runs after it. Comes, you know. I mean, um, she um, she kind of like slips on the leaves and then g- grabs it and then runs back. And you okay. hear this uh, big, like booming voice say, "Piper." Where'd you go, girl? Thump. Thump. Hide, 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 Thump. hide, says Candy. And her ears perk up, and then um, you see the dog's tail wag, and it runs over in the direction of this voice. Um, you, um, are you, and you guys can um, hear this voice coming closer and closer. It's like this, it has a wooden quality to it. And then you see this big, like, hand that seems to be made of bark, just kind of like... And it's at, like, the 20-foot line of, like, the trees, and it kind of just pulls back the branches. You're like, oh, Piper! There you are, girl! Did you find friends? And you see We were just this... leaving, actually. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to turn into a green dog and play with Piper. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... It's like Cosmo and Wanda. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah. yep. So um you see uh, this um the face you see has a like a beard made of moss and it has these uh, like nests of birds in it and they kind of like flutter off and then he has uh these big eyes but they're this milky white. And uh <clears throat> He sniffs the air and he says, Oh, well, you don't smell like Faye. <laughs> nah, we figure that'll come with time. <laughs> and you go, ha, 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 ha. And he has this big, hearty laugh. <laughs> Kiara just, just like, that came out of her face. She didn't think about it. She's just staring. That tree is talking. I yes, see. tree is talking, and he he doesn't make eye contact with you. Uh, you can pretty much reasonably assume he's blind, and um, Piper is his helper dog, so he uh, <clears throat> picks up. He has like a staff that's basically I'm... just a tree. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm I'm like all like on all fours, and you know how like. When dogs get really excited, they'll like get really low on their like four pa- paws while their butts kind of up and just be like, burr, 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 burr. and then Piper immediately goes over to you and starts 
like just playing with you and you hopped around and she kind of like puts her paw on you to like play fight and yeah i sniff her butt yes mm -hmm. yes the, the dog handshake yeah. yep mm -hmm. okay um kathy wants to turn to the giant tree man mm -hmm. um I was like, oh, we're sorry we uh, distracted your dog. We were just passing through. We're so sorry for the intrusion. Oh. Problem. She needs the attention. I'm so old. I can't throw the ball like I used to. <sighs> Are you, uh, from here? <laughs> he says, oh, yes. Long time. And you think, you see him, like, he takes a long time just to, like, respond to anything. Like, he's not in a hurry. He's just, yes. Long time. I was just waking up. Piper watches me while I sleep, and I can sleep for a long time. Pretty solid naps, though. With oh, such a reliable yes. good dog. And the sun here is so warm. Right. And Kiara's thinking about the sun being so close to something so big. It's a bonfire in the sky. <laughs> Why isn't he nervous? What's happening? <laughs> oh, so <laughs> you you look, and um, you you actually realize that this. Uh, but anyway, you look at this tree giant, and he's in the way. He's in the way. Oh, of course. He's in the way. <laughs> oh, darn. Okay. And then uh, you see Erevan. He goes and uh, inspects the plants. He says... These are poisonous. And he, like, points to all the plants around, and he's like, Uh, Mr. Giant, sir. Oh, it's Targi. You call me Targi. Hello, Targi. Oh. <clears throat> Aravans is, yes, Mr. Targi, we are going on a journey. And, um, well, it seems you are on the path. Is there a way that we could, uh, convince you to step aside, please? And Targi goes, hmm. I'm pretty thirsty. You give me some water, I can get up and go. Right. Looks around, looks around. All right, well, Kathy wants to talk with the Targi again. Um, sure. Do you often pass through here? Do you know the way to uh, Queen Savra's palace? Oh, yes. You just need to go on the other side of me. Oh, we would love to do that, perhaps. Where are you headed, by chance? Do you just walk around the area? Do I you stroll take... with uh, Piper? Mm -hmm. Yes, I take many walks. And I Sorry, like we... to stroll the places. Oh, wait, we lost Luna. Yeah, we did lost Luna. Luna, yeah. We lost we Luna, Luna and my, my beautiful setup. Yes. Uh, what was the name again? Tarig? No, Tarig? Targi. 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 Okay, cool. All right. It's like, tar it's like Target, but like, like with like a Targi. Tar <laughs> no, it's, it's Targi. Yeah, it's, it's just T A R G I. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the first name that I actually spelled right. <laughs> I definitely put a warning in there. <laughs> all right, I think I was asking, um, all right, um, Kathy is going to be like, well, are you often in this area and you know the way to go to Queen Sabras? Sabras, have you been there before? Oh, well, uh, it's not hard to miss. And you, mm -hmm. It's kind of a giant tree. But I can walk with you to the Eladrin village. 
Is that far from here? Hmm, about a day. But if I'm going to take you, we'll have to bring my friends too. Does that mean more than just Piper? Yes. What friends do you have? And then he he looks over to and points out and he says, There are little ones in the caves. I find them when they are lost in these woods. But I can't take care of them. We should take them to the village. There they'll be safer. Um, how did they end up being lost here? That's so scary sounding. So sometimes they cross over on accident. How many so are there? And then he, he like... Six. Six? Oh, that's so many. One is but a babe. Oh. I'm gonna get over here. <laughs> Luck, hijinks, fun, who knows. Um, while they're having the conversation, uh, Kiara is gonna be like, well, he did ask for water. Uh, looks at her water skiing. Uh, so make a survival check. Mm -hmm. You want guidance? Yeah! Hey. Right. like a good guidance. Yes, yes, yes. How much is my guidance? Add a d4. Uh, plus one d4. Okay. Well, thank you for that. That turned my 12 into a 16. Oh, yeah. So you remember that there is a brook behind you. So you're like, okay, we can. It's not that far. She lightly knocks on Kianthi's <laughs> on, uh, yeah. on back and be like, oh, yeah, just keep him talking. And just <laughs> she just walks us back in the opposite direction. Of course. Oh, yeah, oh, the babbling so brook. Like, oh, did you see what she's wearing? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that babbling brook. What about the that babbling hair, brook? though? Oh, wow. <laughs> so sparkly. Okay, yeah, so you, you get to the brook. You're there. There's water. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. I have a water skein. Do we have anything larger? Does he need a lot of water? He's a big tree. Trees. Need I water. also have a water skin. I mean, we could make trips. Excellent. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I, also, maybe we're Aravind, in a bucket. I water skin. <laughs> Aravind, he gives it's empty you anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah, Nualia hands it to you. <laughs> she's like you, and he's like you have your own water skin, and she's just like, yeah, but I want to use yours, and he's just like. <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of which, Noalia. Siblings. Get with the goods. <laughs> Can relate. <laughs> she, she tosses. She has like a big water skin too. It's like it's like a it's like a camel bag. <laughs> like, Why are you using mine? <laughs> this is wonderful. Why are you using mine? It's just like mm. <laughs> ah, sheer familiarity. So she just pops back over to the brook and uh, starts filling up the water skins. Yeah, so you fill them all up, and, um, like, we'll say that, um, combined... I mean, how big is... how much does a water skin hold? Mm. How many days worth of water? If he needs more than a few trips, I got legs, I can keep doing this. <laughs> I can do this. Let me see, um, how many... Kiara, part-time water boy. <laughs> Age two old. Like Nualia's is like, you could probably do like a like half a gallon or like a full one, almost. I was like a gallon's like big though, so she wouldn't like, and she moves fast, so she wouldn't want to have like a ton of water. Probably like a liter. Yeah. So we'll say you get like a couple of liters out of it, okay. like three collectively with everyone's water skins, and you bring it over to Targi. And, uh... Who's having just, a really engaging conversation with Kayanthi, who's mm -hmm. truly just... Mostly just nodding people. the whole time. Uh-huh. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, and he says, yes, their names are... Oh, hang on. Mm -hmm. 
I have Hi there, like, Captain. <laughs> there we go. There's Rashid. There's Tui and Maki. They're twins. Mm -hmm. There's a little Minotaur girl named Jinta. Drow kid named Kian. Now the little one doesn't have a name yet. Oh, the draw can't be liking it here. It's quite bright. <laughs> you, um... Weirdly here, like, the sun doesn't bother you as much, even though it's bright. Yeah. So. You could almost go without my goggles, or, like... Yeah, yeah you could... Well. Yeah. Well, it's, like... The, um... In a weird way, the, like, magic is helping you, like, acclimate. Because this is, like... Your true heritage in a weird way? I don't know. I'll just explain it. But... Nice. Okay. Well, that means that at some point during the walk, she was just like, all, okay, I'm getting goggles wet. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Ah. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, and you take them off. And you're like, oh. It's actually quite pleasant. <laughs> yeah. That was all bright and quite pleasant. I like it. All right, but um, she probably like saunters up with like all the water skins and like all, hey there. <laughs> Targi, oh. you need some water. Yes, you said you were thirsty, Targi. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you have water? And he just puts out his hand and just it, it like swoops over, uh, like Ellie and and Aravan who have to duck because he's just moving in. He, and he kind of like holds out his hand, not in any, any particular direction. He knows like where you are kind of generally, but um, he's blind, so he's just kind of putting his hand out. Put it towards the sound. Yeah. And then I'm going to we'll be placing them all up so that you only need to close your hand and then just pour it in your mouth so that you're not like guessing and everything. So it's just like lines them up. <laughs> okay, yeah, you, you, you like put them between the crevices of his fingers and then he. Oh. <laughs> How tall is this guy again? Like. Um, he's. Um. I'm, he's tall enough where, um, like it would be, an, like, annoying to go around him. Yeah. Um. But, um, you, uh... It's like, I didn't actually, like, decide how tall I was. Um, but Ents are, like, 20 to 30 feet tall. Because they're, like, okay. three people. Yeah. Um, so, uh... That he, um... <clears throat> he says, ah, oh, yes, thank you. Oh, uh, you hear him crick and, and, and uh, crack. And, uh, he starts to, to get up. And you see him like hold his his stick, and then um, Piper comes over and wags her tail, and he says, "Oh yes, of course, girl." And he he throws her ball, and you see him like curl back his like full extension of his hand, and he flings it, and it like it goes like probably a mile out, and then and Piper just runs after it, happy as can be. You know, if he throws it hard enough, it might hit your brother in the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> Kira just watches it sail. She's like, "Oh man, I thought I had a good arm, but you know, with that kind of that kind of that kind of arm, I might hit your brother in the back of the head if he's not careful." <laughs> yeah, and well, like, one can only hope. And when Piper <laughs> leaves, I like shift back, and I was like, "I thought he had a bad throwing arm." <laughs> and then know. he's like, "I get. I mean, if that's bad, then." I'm, you see I'm him kind of like rub his shoulder and he's like, Ugh. Gets tired, huh? Happens when you're old. <laughs> <laughs> How far away is the cave you talked about with the children? Oh, just a few steps that way. Do you think we should probably see what's happening there too? Well, they have to come along, don't they? We're heading past the village as it is anyway. Yeah, it might be nice to see some ladrin. Yeah, the village is basically on the way there. So. It's okay. like, mm -hmm. it's just a little uh, province, just at, like, probably like a little 
Foothill Province before the city, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pretty much. Hang on, I got. Okay. Mm. But we gotta be okay. on high alert and I bring out my staff. We gotta watch out for rocks with mouths, rocks with ears, and uh, other things. Like evil brothers. Yep. That too. <clears throat> So you um, begin walking with Targi, <clears throat> and let's see, I don't smell like Fey. You pass through the uh, the thicket and into a lighter part of the Fey Wilds, where the trees are less dense and light can cut through the canopy. <clears throat> okay. And he um, brings you across this field of flowers that are. Um, they basically sing as you walk through them. Oh, they just release this little, like, oh, sound. Like we're in, like, Alice in Wonderland. We yeah. Just have this thing yeah. Ours. Makes me happy. Their music flows on the breeze, and you can see that the Feywilds is a place brimming with life. Uh, a satyr and a dryad are in the distance. You can see them chasing each other. Uh, he, uh, the, the satyr's fur is uh, this lush brown and the dryad's leafy hair flows behind her and then he's about to catch her when she just like leaps into this tree and you see her just um t contact the tree and then just sort of like glide into it and the sitter like lands and you see him kind of like do this oh come on we were stomping his hooves yeah tom stomps his hooves and then on the other side uh of him is this tree and she comes and taps his shoulder on behind him and then he turns around and then he says i'm gonna and he says it in um like sylvan yeah he says it in sylvan he's just like I i'm i'm gonna catch you basically and um, uh, i'm gonna get you <laughs> i'm gonna I like that vibe. yeah yeah it's like playful but like you know playful threat <laughs> I'm gonna get yeah, you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs> and they continue to do their little uh, tag banter as the, they go denser into the forest and pixies buzz across the field and they um, are excited to, you know, more, I mean, every pixie you meet is really excited to like meet new people. So they're like, Target, who's this, who's this? And, um, Eventually, he brings you to a cave that's covered over by vines, and you can hear the sound of dripping water and, and children laughing from the inside. And he pulls aside the vines, and you see bedrolls and a, a little cooking fire. And <clears throat> hello, this is Tiffany, your GM for Dungeon Damsels. We update on Wednesdays and Saturdays now at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We have merchandise on our Redbubble and on links via the link tree. We also have coffee and a Patreon if you wish to donate to us. Please like, subscribe, and comment as we would love to hear from you. Uh, you can also find us on basically every podcast platform out there if you can't sit down and listen to a YouTube video. And if you're wondering why we don't stream, it's because my internet can't support it. But uh, regardless, thank you for listening and watching. And remember to be kind, inclusive, and loving.